Hi everybody, it's Yolanda, and I'm here with my first configuration box. Um, I never did one of these before, but I was very surprised and very happy as to how it turned out. Um, my inspiration was Miranda, Miss Liberty 25. Um, I know you know her on YouTube. She is a very inspirational lady, and I really appreciate her motivating me and... Um, just learning from her period she's a great lady okay let's get this started um, I'm gonna start with the outside of the box what I did was I used a black gesso and the mask of the um, template of the 6x6 the brick one and as you can see it got a little messy there but that's okay it gives character to it and then I um did the diamond one here and as you turn it I did the mask of the brick again and the diamond up here and you turn it and it's brick and it's all the way around I didn't do the back though um, didn't do the back okay now let's look inside um, what we have is we have the paper um, studio, um, the Great Rock Island route. Um, I picked this up at Michael's one day at 40% off. thought it was a very unique um, type of paper. and um, So I picked up the pack and I decided to do my first configuration box using it. Now here right above the first little cubby we have the stamping scrapping dot com is what they're called they're gardenias in the seven pack the red and black um, I got those from creative soup from the soul um, very good store to go to a lot of the items on this box um, came from creative soup from the soul and um, it's ran by Trish over at um, one craft cottage my BFF and um, hey Trish shout out to you girl um, let's start here with the gardenia and then I ran some lace across here from creative soup from the soul and then I put a little dove there on the corner that I got from BD bomb bomb um, hi Elizabeth yes yeah, she's closing her store it should be closed by now and then inside, hope you can see that, I fuzzy cut out of the paper line the little stamp and I put it in the corner and I clipped on it a clothespin, a miniature clothespin. And then I got the epoxy stickers here of a bird and I used the Tim Holtz um, line of the light bulb. I'm not sure if those are Tim Holtz or the Prima ones. Um, give me a second here. I can tell you. These are actually junkyard findings. Um, they're called junkyard findings. And I also got... I'm digging in my bin as I'm doing this because I can't remember every little aspect of this box. But... The little light bulb is from Junkyard Findings, and then I did a miniature domino here that I got over at Hobby Lobby. And then I got the little key, and he has a little Martha Stewart punched out butterfly on it. And I got the yellow gold looking rose from Beady Bomb Bomb. Don't know if you can see that. I'll pull in closer. And what I did was I just took my finger and put it in a gesso and went around the edge of the box and just sporadically did the inside. I wanted to leave it light enough for you to be able to see in the cubby holes because they appear so dark from a distance. Then the next cubby hole we have Martha Stewart butterfly cut out and I put liquid pearls in it and I've got two of those one hanging from the side over there I cut out a piece of the paper line with the Paris and Eiffel Tower on it. Um, I put a Y scrap um, piece for 
Scrabble piece, I mean, for my name, Yolanda. And I put a big, beautiful um, bling right there of a ruby looking bling. Then I put the little, these remind me of disco balls, several things do on here. And I put the little um, diaper pin right here in there. And I also put roses, little closed rosebuds right there. And I glued a little Brad of an Eiffel Tower to the Y, if you can see it right there. In the next cubby, I got my big disco ball going right here, up in the corner. And I put the 5% there. I just wanted some metal hanging. Um, learned that from Miranda as well, Miss Liberty 25. And I got the metal number three from the Tim Holtz collection. And I used some black acrylic paint on it um, to take away the shine. I put one of the clothes hangers. Um, what do you call those? Clothes hanger? It eludes my mind right now. Um, paper clips. <laughs> And I put one of the little marbles. You can't see in it on screen. Maybe you can see the little silhouette of the little Roman soldier. I cut him out from the paper line and I glued him on the bottom. And you can see him through the marble here. Okay. The next part of the box is I used a Florida Lee. And this is from one of the trinket companies. I don't know. I can't remember right now. But this is like a half a little key that I have dangling there. It's just dangling as you can see. And I lift it up and I put right there the little metal wing. And up in the corner right here, you can see it. I put my little D for my middle initial. And I put one of the little roses, paper roses, book roses from Mama Tiff's. Um, you can go check her out. She makes some awesome flowers. I mean, they're just gorgeous, you guys. You need to run over there and check her out. And then in this one, we got the raven that's green. He's a charm. And then I got the epoxy little square Brad from Walmart that says hello. And... I got the little leaf um, from one of the little bobble sets over at uh, Hobby Lobby. So, moving right along, we have one of the flowers. Let me tell you what that one is. That is from the Stamping Scrapping Company as well. And what I did was I put a buckle on the back and a flat back pearl on it and I used some of this same ribbon not ribbon lace down here lace trim and I put it across there um I forgot to mention I put a cameo back there too on the wall and um in this little cubby it's very busy I put one of those paper roses from Mama Tiff's and I got a big bling, a little bitty, bitty cameo going. And I hung from the roof of the inside of this little cubby, the little heart with the wings. And from that, I dangled the key to the heart, as you can see, the little key there. And I put the Tim Holtz card, the K for my last name, Kennedy. And the number five, which is one of my favorite numbers, a little yellow paper rose for the yellow rose of Texas. And I put a little bit of lace on the spool and spun it around. And I put one of those little marble rocks there. And as you can see, the J in the background, um, Tim Holtz token. And this is my age now, and I put black acrylic paint on it. It was red, but I painted black acrylic paint. I got that from Miranda, Miss Liberty 25, 
and I put a little Martha Stewart butterfly on the top of it. Then I added this flower here, which is from the same collection as this flower. And I put a flat back pearl and I put the black little box trim across here. And hope you can see in the cubbies with that black box trim. Um, the little bottle cap back here is what I did was I cut a piece from the paper line and I took glossy accents and I glued it in there and I made my own little bottle cap like thing and I stuck it to the back wall. This is a bobble from Creative Soup for the Soul and by the way all my Tim Holtz pieces I got from Creative Soup for the Soul from Trish and this is the film from Tim Holtz line and this is a Martha Stewart butterfly right here and on this corner I put one of the Tim Holtz uh, angle corner angles and I did the same thing down here at this corner now in this little cubby what I did was I put one of the resin pieces the mask right here and I put the number seven one of my favorite numbers and I put a miniature little crown and one of the pin tops right there okay and last but not least in this little corner here I put the little bottle and it has little black beads in it if you can see and it has a label on it I put one of the Tim Holtz gear pieces in there one up here and one laying down here I put a black domino in there with another butterfly on top of it very pretty love this little box and then I put another one of the Tim Holtz angle corners up right there and I also put one up here in the corner this corner of course is covered by the gardenia so there was no need but this is my first configuration box and I'm loving it. It was very fun to make. Um, although I was very intimidated um, at first. I was very nervous about making it. But I stepped out on faith, you know, and really put my heart and mind into it. And um, I followed what I had seen Miranda do, which inspired me. And I just went with it. It took me a couple of days to do it because I had to pick it up, put it down. I worked other projects in between, but I got her done. Okay, and go over there and check out Miss Liberty 25, her channel, and Trish over at One Craft Cottage, and Creative Soup for the Soul. She has that website open, and it has all these different groups that you can join, and be a part of in the scrapping world creative art world and then go check Trish out on Facebook as well under the real deal scrappy steals on Facebook and she has um, her store over there that's basically like the scrap yard and it's so fun to shop in there because it's like going into a swap meet without actually going so get over there and check her out and have a great time. Everybody take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.